Hello, in this video we are going to see the order discount Shopify function. This function is very similar to the product discount function we've seen already in the channel, but as the name suggests, in this case, the discount will be applied to the entire order instead of to individual line items. The example we'll see in this video will be different than the one we saw in the product discount function one. In this case, what we are going to build is a function that applies a 5% discount to the order for every unique product in the cart, up to a maximum of 20%. But for the discount to apply, there should be at least two unique products in the cart. Also, to add some variety, compared to the product discount function video, in this case, the discount will be an automatic discount instead of a discount code. So the customer will have it applied as soon as their cart matches these conditions. And to quickly illustrate this, here I have the store open. And if I add a product to the cart, we are not going to get a discount because I just have one unique product. There should be at least two. If I add now, this product to the cart, I should get a 10% discount. If I then increase the quantity of this one to two, I still have only two unique products in my cart, so I should only get a 10% discount still with this configuration. However, if I go back here and I add a couple more unique products, such as this one, at this point, I should get a 15% discount. And then if I add, for example, this one, I should get a 20% discount, but then it should be cap there. So if I added now this one to the cart, I have five products, five unique products in my cart, but the discount is capped at 20%, so it will not go beyond that. And as you can see here, even though Shopify supports discounts out of the box, what I just described is so unique and specific that Shopify doesn't cover it by default. So this is where you'll want to reach into Shopify functions and build it yourself, so it adapts to these specific constraints. So now let's create the function, hit or run, npm init shopify app latest to initialize a shopify app here i'll just name this order discount function and i'm going to start by adding your first extension here after everything is installed we should get a folder like this i'm going to take all of these files and move them out you could also cd to this directory both would be the same anyways now i'll run npm run shopify app generate extension to generate my Shopify function. Here I'll create this as a new app, keep the name. And now I'm going to look here for in discount, discount order function, this one over here. I'll keep this name and I'll select TypeScript. And now let's wait for all of these dependencies to install. With everything installed, now let's go to shopify.app.tumble here and in the scopes, let's add write discounts because we are going to be creating a discount to this app. Now let's create the GraphQL input query. For this, make sure you have these two extensions over here installed. If you look for GraphQL in the VS Code extensions marketplace, it will be these two by the GraphQL foundation. They are not the first one, but they have this check mark over here. This will give you auto completion in the input GraphQL file. So now let's go to extensions, order discount, SRC, run the GraphQL. And here we are going to remove all of this. And now let's start by doing cart. You see over here that I have auto completion. Then lines, ID, that we're going to get merchandise. And over here on product variant, we are going to get the product and the ID also here. Let's add type rim because this can be either a product variant or it can be something else. Let's see if we get it. Even new merchandise. It can be either product variant or custom product. This is why I had to do on product variant over here. But anyways, let's save this. And now let's go to rounded TS to write the body of a function. So the first thing we need to do is open a new console and go into extensions and order discount and here run npm run type jam so the type we created over here is updated here we are going to get an error now because the body of this function is for the previous input not that you updated it input dot discount node doesn't exist that's why we have this error now let's start by deleting this and this and let's create three constants so mean unique products 
this will be equal to two as we are going to start applying this discount after we have at least two unit products in the cart and then the discount per product this will be equal to five and then max discount this will be equal to 20 as we are capping this discount at 20 percent now let's get the unique product ids so for this we'll do comes unique products this will be equal to input a card with lines of reduce then we'll have here product ids and line and this will start being a set of a string so a new set of a string over here a set is like an array but it can only contain unique values so if we push the same id twice the set will only keep one of those in there so now let's do product ids dot add line dot merchandise we're going to cast this as a product variant and we're going to get here product dot id and then we are going to return product ids now let's check if we are meeting the condition for the minimum amount of items by doing unique products dot size if it is less than main unique products then we are going to return an empty discount otherwise we are going to compute the discount so this will be equal to unique products dot size times discount per product and to cap this we are going to do math dot min and max discount this way if the result of this multiplication was say 25 we are going to pick the minimum of these two which will be the 20 percent however if it was something like 15 we are going to be picking this one here and now let's say unique discounted products this will be equal to discount divided by discount per product this will be for the message so now let's do discount application strategy here we're going to pick here discount application strategy dot first to apply the first discount that applies in this case we're going to be returning one anyways and in the discounts array we're going to have message so for the message we want to have something like this 15 percent off for buying three unique products so we'll do discount percent off for buying unique discount products unique products then in value this will be a percentage and the value of that percentage would be what is in discount and then here in targets we are just targeting the order subtotal as this is an order discount function and we can exclude variants but in this case we are not going to do that so this will be an empty array and now that we have the code for the function let's run here npm from dev to install this application in a development star over here i'm going to select function order discount and i'm going to press p to preview this in the browser this will prompt me to install this and now let's over here press d to open the graphql editor as we need to install this discount function manually from here so first we need the idea of the function so let's run a query here shopify functions edges node now we're going to get the id and let's get the title to know that this id corresponds to this title i have to provide here that i am one let's say the first time even though i only have one function in this store so i'm going to copy this id over here and paste it as a comment here let's remove this query now and we have to run a mutation so let's run mutation discount automatic app create because this will be an automatic discount and we have to pass it here the input automatic app discount this is an object this will start at you know, saying January 1st of 2024 the title will be order discount and then we have to pass the function id which is the id we copied over here we can also over here pass a few other fields for example the combine suite if we want this discount to combine 
to combine with any of the other discount types available. This is an object we have to pass true or false for each individual discount type over here. However, we're not going to use this, so let's keep this like this for now. And next, let's get the ID, the discount ID of this. But if there was an error, let's get code and message. So it seems like it didn't pick this update that we did at the beginning of the video in the scopes over here. We can quickly fix this by running npm on deploy. And this will force an update to the scopes over here. So let's click on yes over here to release a new app version. And now we can run npm from dev again. While this begins, let me copy this, because I will have to refresh the page. And I will press P. And now over here, we get the updated scopes. We can see these comes over here. So the app was reinstalled. I'm going to refresh this. Okay, the query got saved. And I can run this again, and here I don't get the error anymore, and instead I get the discount ID of the discount that was just created. And now let's check if this is all working. So this is the same card we had at the beginning of the video, and if I go to checkout, we see over here 20% off for buying 4 unique products. It says 4 because it is capped at 4, even though I have here 5 unique products. So if I go back to the store, over here I see my discount, because it's an automatic discount. And if I remove, let's say, this one, I still get four unique products. But if I remove this one, then I get 15% off for buying three unique products. And if I go to checkout, I see the same 15% off. Let's go back over here. If I remove this over here, I get 10% off. But if I remove this one, I don't get anything because I need to have at least two unique products in the card as specified over here. I need to have at least two for this discount to apply. And here you have it. This is how we create order discount Shopify functions. In this video, we kept the function configuration here as constants, but you could get these values from app meta fields if you wanted to give the merchant more control over this, and it will also work as fine. If you found this video useful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify related content, and I'll see you all in the next video.